We're joined by Ian Prentice, Managing Director of Technologies Metals Australia. Ian, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. A critical mineral in Western Australia. How's the project developing? Really, really well. So um, we completed a feasibility study on our, on our sorry, core um, resource space back in 2019. Now we're implementing a, a project of bringing a, a satellite deposit into that, so an integration study by the middle of the year and then looking for a development decision by the end of the year. Projects located in Meekathara, Tier 1 West Australia, Tier 1 Australia, yep. infrastructure, is it well endowed? It is well endowed, um, and, and, and again, I guess you know, during COVID, we've seen that tier one you know, mining sector in, in Western Australia you know, perform really well through all that disruption, so that's ideal for us. Um, I guess the only infrastructure that we really need to get and establish is a pipeline for gas, um, but everything else is really, you know, really convenient. So we've got a highway running by the front door, so really, really good on that front. And you're not just focused on the processing of the minerals, you're looking downstream as well. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so vanadium, you know, part of its use and a real expanding use over time, we think it's going to be in batteries, very large scale vanadium redox flow batteries. Um, to do that, you take our high purity product and you turn it into a vanadium electrolyte. Um, so currently being done offshore, Chinese are dominating that space. We're looking at doing it here in Australia. So we take our product from Mekathara, bring it down to Guanana or somewhere down here and make it into the electrolyte and then that feeds into a battery down the track. What were some of the highlights of the last 12 to 18 months? Um, I, I think really um, identifying our satellite deposit, Yarrabubba, and the really high quality material that can come from that and how that's going to make a, a really material difference to the overall project. So, you know, bringing our costs down, extend our life out. We're now looking at a 25 year mine life, you know, a really significant project and that Yarrabubba is a real key in, in that. Um, but we also um, attracted uh, resource capital funds onto the register. So we, we did a placement end of last year, $20 million. Um, RCF cornerstone that for $13.5 million into their, into their main fund. Um, so that's, that gives us a lot of confidence moving forward. We've got that really good backing um, and uh, development um, with their support. Looking forward, what does the next 12 to 18 months look like from an operational point of view and what should investors be focused on? So I think yeah, short term it's around this uh, integration study. So we put all that together and we can tell the market what it means to have Yarrabubba going into the project and, and the, the you know, consolidated merchants and technology metals project and what that all looks like. And then, as I say, moving through to a development decision. So end of the year, development decision. So some really good, solid news flow over the course of, of the balance of this year. In parallel, we're looking at a lot of work around the vanadium electrolyte plant. So feasibility study on, on you know, what that's going to involve, where that's going to be located, and how we unroll that. Um, and then, yeah, starting construction. So financing and construction. So 23 is going to be a big year for us. A critical project in a tier one jurisdiction, well funded, with a clear path on production, Ian, exciting times ahead for you and your shareholders. Thanks for your time. Fantastic. Thanks, David.